guys how are you guys doing today i hope you guys are doing wonderful now in today's video i'm going to show you how i created this makeup look right here uh it's inspired from the new show that's called uh euphoria apparently it's the character called uh maddie that has this look on the show i haven't watched that show but i did some research and i loved this look the most from all the looks that i that i came across so if you want to see how i created this look then please keep on watching so the first thing i'm going to start off with my clinique moisture surge i've been using this for a while now uh it's my everyday go to moisturizer makeup or not i apply this every single day on my face I just take a small amount and apply it all over my face. A little goes a really long way. Okay, just change the angle. But uh, now, after my moisturizer, I go ahead and apply my primer. This is the primer I recently got by Elf. It's the hydrating face primer. Nothing new over there. It's a gel face primer. I just take a little bit and apply it where I have the maximum of course. Massage it in my skin so that it really gets into my pores. After I've massaged it in my skin, I just let it sink in for like a minute or two. So after I've let my primer and my moisturizer sink into my face for a couple of minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and do my base. So for the base, we are using a Fenty foundation today. I just recently got this foundation and obviously I'm in like love with it. It's the Pro Filter Soft Matte and I am in the shade. 290. Sure, I've uh, taken some foundation on my hand. I'm just gonna dip it and apply it all over my skin. As you see, I'm not applied like a thick layer of foundation. I do not like layering up my foundation a lot. I just like a really light layer of foundation. So after I've done my foundation, um, I will do my concealer. For concealer today, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, it's in the shade medium. I'm just going to apply a little bit on my... A lot on my underline. After I've done that, I will take some more and apply it on the top of my nose. I know, I'm crazy. But after I've done this, I do let it sink into my skin for a, like, until I do my eyebrows. I do my eyebrows right after it. So I have some time to let the concealer sink into my skin. I'm just gonna do a very natural brow. So whenever I'm doing my eyebrows, what I usually do is I use powder, uh, powder product for my eyebrows. So I take the pack 372 brush, which is this like flat brush, a uh, flat angle brush, and I take my fix plus and I just spritz a little on the brush so that it's a little wet and it turns my powder product into a uh, like it turns it into a little bit of a gel based product. Just like me. The product I'm using for my eyes is the Miss Claire Eyebrow Cake. I feel like that's like the best eyebrow product, like powder based product I've used. I've used the Lacme one as well and the Maybelline one as well, like that comes in the powder form. I do not really like it. It, it doesn't have a lot of um, pigmentation as compared to this Miss Claire product. Sorry, my phone ran out of storage. I don't know what's with iPhone and me like any Apple products and me, we just never agree on our stories. Uh, I just did my eyebrows, I didn't really do anything crazy with them, I just filled in a little bit, not even a lot. And I'm just gonna brush it because they have like really really brushed eyebrows.
Now, after I've brushed my eyebrows, I'm going to now um, blend my concealer in. It's been a while since I've done a video firstly and secondly it's been a while since I've done like a sit down video in where I'm like talking about the product and um, comment down below and let me know what kind of videos do you prefer. Do you prefer a sit down video like this one or do you prefer like a sped up video like I used to post or do you want to like do you want me to like mix and match. So after I'm done um, blending my concealer in, you can see it made such a huge difference. I need to set my foundation and my concealer, so I'm gonna put my airspin powder. I just got this, also, we don't get it here, so I just got this from America. It's in translucent extra coverage. 109% recommend this powder if you get your hands on it, gives you such good coverage. The best part about this, personally, is that it smells like heaven. Like, I love this smell. Okay, I'm gonna apply this wherever I applied my concealer, so like under my eye. On my nose, on my forehead, on my chin. So after I'm done applying my powder, usually I just keep it there for not more than like 10 to 20 seconds. I don't really like like that right under eyes or anything like that because it gives you like some of the powders especially I don't know for me because I have like deep set eyes it gives me very like photography flashback so if I use like flash in the photography my under eyes just like boom like they look like so white so I don't I'm not really fan of like baking my face so I'm just gonna take this off and like just spread it all around my face to set the rest of my face Let's get started with the eyes. So I'm gonna use the De Desert Dusk Palace. Uh, Desert Dusk Palette. I'm gonna use this bone color right here, which is called Desert Sand. I'm just gonna apply it all over my eyes. I'm gonna use Amethyst from this palette. This really really pretty purple I'm just gonna take my finger so that it gives me like the most pigmentation So after we are done doing that, we're just gonna go ahead and blend it. Maybe I'm gonna take some eyeshadow on my brush and just brush it. I'm gonna go ahead with pack 371 and I'm gonna use this shade right here. And go ahead and do an eyeliner so after the wing she has like a br uh, purple lower lash line as well so i'm gonna take amethyst again and apply it on my lower lashes i'm gonna take um this sephora brush that just comes with the some palette or i don't know this is just a sephora normal brush i'm gonna amethyst and apply it on my lower lash So I just like, went ahead and saw the reference again and I saw that her eyeliner is really really like prominent. So what I did was I couldn't achieve it with the James Shaw whatever the color was. So I got, went into my NYX Ultimate palette and I used the purple shade right here. 
which worked really well. What I did was I took my flat angular brush, which is like the pack 371. I put some like fix plus on it and then I took the purple eyeshadow shade right here and did an eyeliner with it. So it it resulted in the exact like the eyeliner that the actress has. It looks really cute. Now after I'm done applying the eyeshadow, I'm just gonna bronze my face. I'm gonna take my NYX um, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, which my dear friend gifted it to me. I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's really perfect for my skin tone. Doesn't look too ashy on my skin. Now, of course, my big forehead. My double trim, my main flaw. Not really a flaw. It's just there, okay? It's there. I've accepted it. We all got to. Around my own. Not really sharpen it or anything, just to give it a little nice contour look. I'm just gonna take a white eyeliner, just apply it in my waterline. I'm gonna put my falsies on right now and be right back. I'm gonna use my falsies by Ardell. These are the natural ones. I really like them, I'm reusing them. That's why they are not in the packet. I'm gonna use my lash glue and be right back. So I'm done applying my uh, falsies. I take my curler and just curl them together. After that, I take my mascara and just apply it. Give it like one coat of mascara. Now, the fun part. Now we are going to apply the rhinestones on my face just like the picture that I showed you guys. She has silver rhinestones on her face. Okay, I do have some marks on my face. I don't know if you can see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some lash glue in my hand just a little bit tweezers is what i'm going to take to apply it with then i'm just gonna grab up. now i'm going to take the rhinestone and apply it right here there we go there it is So I just did the top part. I'm just gonna take this pencil, just take the end part of it, apply some glue on the last line, take my tweezer. Let it dry. It looks so cute. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and be right back. Before I do my lipstick, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlighter. I'm using my Becca Champagne Pop. Are you ready for this? Because I certainly am not. Do you see this? It's just one swipe, okay? I can never get enough of highlighters. I take my like very um, dense brush, it's pack 311, take a little bit of highlighter and like put it on my nose. You see how that shines. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more, run it down my nose. And I do take a little bit to it in my inner corner. I'm gonna take my spoolie again and brush out my eyebrows. I'm just gonna brush them out really, really nicely. So I'm gonna take my next lip lingerie. It's in Cabaret Show. It is one of my go-to lipsticks of all time. Like I've used this almost every day since I've gotten it.
after I'm done applying my lipstick. So I'm gonna use Victoria's Secret Lip Shine Stardust. It's called Stardust and it's really good. So good. So that's it. I'm done with my makeup tutorial. Been a long one, trust me. I've been here for like two hours now. I don't even know what time is it, but I'm done. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know if you want to see more such Euphoria inspired makeup looks. Euphoria has a lot of such creative makeup. So if you want me to recreate one of the makeup or if you want me to create my own makeup look like that, please let me know in the comments below. Share this video and subscribe if you are new to my channel and um what else what else yeah uh press the bell icon so that you get notified every single time i post a new video and don't forget to follow me on all my social medias all the handles will be down in the description box and on the screen that's it for today's video guys bye until next time spread love oh my god it's gonna thunder so bad right now one two It would have been so cool if it happened on my countdown. Cool. Never mind. There we go.